Now there, this is materials, and this is lesson one, density. So we should know what density is from GCSE, so it should be pretty straightforward. So density is mass divided by volume, or rho is m over v. Density is measured in kilograms per cubic meter, or per meter cubed. And one gram per centimeter cubed is the same as a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Remember to pause at any point, write equations down, um, any notes, etc. So just some examples. So interstellar medium, so space, 10 to the minus 25 to 10 to the minus 15. Just some examples. So air, 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. Water, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, we should know that one. Plastics vary between 850 to 1,400. And then we keep getting heavier. Well, more dense. Uranium, 19,100. Gold, 19,300. That's osmium. Sun's core, 150,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Neutron star, 10 to the power of 17. And black hole... We look here and greater than four times 10 to the 17 kilograms per cubic meter. So we've got to pause and complete this. If it's in grams and centimeters cubed, just leave it. Should be pretty straightforward. And then I'll take you through the answers. So I'll do that now. So the first one. So density is mass over volume. Should have got six grams per cubic centimeter. Second one. Second one, volume, 1.5 cubic meters. Mass on the next one, 64 grams. And the last one, it says 3 grams per cubic centimeter or 3,000 kilograms per cubic meter. That should be okay, let's move on. So, this question, let's pause and have a go. Calculate the weight of a gold ingot of dimensions 20 by 10 by 4 centimetres with a density of 19,300 kilograms per cubic metre. So, first of all, the volume. Let's change the centimetres into metres. So, 20 by 10 by 4 would be 0.2 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.04 which gives a volume of 8 times 10 to the minus 4 cubic meters then mass is density times volume the density is 19,300 multiplied by volume 8 times 10 to the minus 4 which gives a mass that's equal to 15.44 kilograms. So you've got that far well done. However, the question is just for the weight. So we need to do 15.44 multiplied by 9.81. And that gives us 151 newtons. Let's try the next one. So first of all, define the density of material. And then there's a question after. So definition is simply mass per unit volume. Density is mass over volume. So mass per unit volume will be fine. Then let's have a look at the next one. So brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, consists of 70% by volume of copper and 30% by volume of zinc. Then we've got both the density of copper and the density of zinc. And the question says, determine the mass of copper and the mass of zinc required to make a rod of brass of volume 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters. Then finally, calculate the density of brass. So, first of all, let's find the mass of copper. So we need to get it by volume, so it's 70%. So what we need to do is 0 0.7, 70% of the volume 
which is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3. So that gives us the volume of copper of 8.4 times 10 to the minus 4 cubic meters. Then we can just get the mass. Mass is density times volume. So the density, which is given 8.9 times 10 to the 3, 8,900. Multiplied by the volume, 8.4 times 10 to the minus 4. So the mass of copper is 7.476 kilos. So if you want to make sure that's jotted down somewhere if you didn't get that. And then we'll do zinc. So zinc is 30%, so we need to do 30% of the volume. So 0 0.3 times the volume, 1.2 time, 1 .2 times 10 to the minus 3. Which gives us a volume of 3.6 times 10 to the minus 4 cubic meters. Then we need to get the mass, which is just density times volume. So density 7.1 times 10 to the 3, which is 7,100, multiplied by the volume. 3.6 times 10 to the minus 4, which gives a mass of zinc of 2.556 kilograms. So that's that question. Determine the mass of copper and the mass of zinc. Then we just need to calculate the density of brass. So, density is mass over volume. We need the total mass, so the mass of the copper and the zinc. So we need to do the 7.476 plus the 2.556. So that's the masses of the copper and zinc. And then we just need to divide by the volume. And the volume is the 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3. So that gives us a density of 8,360 kilograms per cubic meter. So I hope those examples are okay. Please remember the definition. So if you have to define the density of material, it's just mass per unit volume. And that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.